Congratulations on the purchase of your new Revolve 360 rotational all-in-one car seat. One of the great features of this revolutionary seat is its easy one-time installation, which we'll cover today. For the purposes of this video, I'll reference the Evenflow Gold Revolve 360. Before you begin, it's important to thoroughly review the owner's manual that came with your Evenflow Revolve 360. When you're done reviewing the owner's manual, be sure to store it in the rear of the car seat for easy reference as your child grows and her use of the seat changes. You can also use the QR code located under the leg rest. In this video, we will review the steps to install the Revolve 360 in booster mode. You may have previously installed the Revolve 360 in your vehicle for use in another mode. Evenflow recommends using the lower anchors to secure your booster seat in the vehicle while using the Revolve 360 in booster mode, but the tether is not used in booster mode. First, we'll prep your car seat for booster mode. The head pillow and body pillow should not be used for booster mode, so make sure they've been removed from the car seat. Fully extend and loosen the harness by pushing the harness release button, then unfasten the chest clip and buckle. Lift up the head wrist pad and push the shoulder straps, chest clip, and buckle tongues into the storage area located in the side wings. Expose the buckle by pulling forward on the seat pad. Then. Twist the bottom of the buckle so the strap lines up with the slot in the bottom of the car seat. Angle the buckle through the front slot to remove. This step may take a few tries. Store the buckle in the pocket located behind the leg rest flap. Then replace the seat pad. Your car seat is now ready for belt positioning booster use. We'll start by getting the Revolve 360 ready for installation. You only install the base of the car seat, so we'll remove it now. And rotate the seat so the arrows are lined up for removal. Lift the seat to remove. Detach each lower anchor from the storage position on the back side of the base. Place the base on your vehicle seat. Squeeze the handle of the lock strong belt tensioner until the indicator turns red and raise the handle. Attach each lower anchor connector to the corresponding anchor bar in the vehicle. While using one hand to push firmly on the base, use your other hand to pull the lower anchor strap to tighten the lower anchor connectors. Using both hands, push down on the lock strong belt tensioner. The indicator will turn green when the lock strong is fully closed. To check your installation for tightness, grab the base near the belt path and try to move it side to side. It should not move more than one inch. If the base moves more than one inch, try the installation again. Now you're ready to reattach your car seat to the base. Start by lining up the red arrow and either one of the white arrows as you place the car seat on the base. When the car seat is in a locked position, the indicators on both sides of the base will turn green. There is only one recline position for forward-facing modes, both with a harness and in booster mode. The car seat must remain in this fully upright position for proper use. And that's a wrap. Enjoy the 360 degrees of rotation and easy in and out of this revolutionary car seat.